Hello friends this is my first video on my new series of video tutorials on Code Igniter Framework. In this video we will cover some basics of Code Igniter Framework. We will also cover basics of model view controller workflow of Code Igniter Framework. We will also show bunch of library which Code Igniter Framework uses and we will also cover workflow of Code Igniter and how to start work with Code Igniter Framework. Before we are going to start discussing on Code Igniter Framework, first we think on why should we use this Code Igniter Framework. If you wanted to work with any PHP framework and if you have good knowledge of PHP object oriented programming then you can easily learn and understand this framework. This is because this framework mainly build on core PHP and this framework mainly work on model view controller workflow concept. Code Igniter is a powerful PHP framework with a very small footprint, built for developers who need a simple and elegant toolkit to create full featured web applications. Code Igniter use model view controller framework or in simple words it is a model view controller. In Code Igniter framework controller gather logic from models and display in view. This is the basic concept of this Code Igniter framework in which business logic is making controller, database query operation done in models and HTML code or browser side display is done in view. This way model view controller workflow has been work. The other reason why should we use Code Igniter framework for our application, this is because of its user guide. Code Igniter Framework provides rich user guide and it is easily available on its website and in that guide you can find all information related to Code Igniter function, library or even helper. You can also download this user guide and you can also read it offline also. Code Igniter provide the best user guide which we have never seen before. Now friends we have show how to install Code Igniter Framework. So first we have to download Code Igniter Framework from its website. Friends we have to download this file and this framework size is only 10% of Zen Framework and Code Igniter Framework is the smallest sized framework between which are currently available in the market like Zen, Larval, Cake PHP and blah blah blah. Code Igniter is the lightweight PHP framework and Code Igniter application run very fast and smoothly. After download Code Igniter framework now we have put this framework into my WAMP www folder and in this folder we have another folder tutorial and here we have put unzip file which we have download and rename this folder to Code Igniter. Now friends I have show you how to run Code Igniter application, so for this we have go to browser and here we have write localhost slash tutorial folder name slash and folder name of Code Igniter application which is also Code Igniter and press enter, here we can see that welcome page of Code Igniter framework. This way we can run the Code Igniter framework application. Now friends we have discussed file structure of this Code Igniter framework. In this framework there is mainly application, system and user guide folder are there. In application folder mainly we will store our PHP code which we will write for develop for our application. How to and where to write PHP code in application we will describe you later. In system folder all framework core part are stored into this folder, if you want to interested to the code of the code igniter framework then you can find whole framework code part are stored into this system folder. In this folder you can find the core part like different class on which code igniter framework, you can find these things into this folder. And last in user guide folder you can find the complete user guide of this code igniter framework. You can easily find the user guide with framework folder, you can read and learn lots of things from this user guide. In this guide you can find information about all code igniter function, library and even helper also. This all things you can find into this user guide. 
You can read this guide offline also. Friends if you develop any application by using this code igniter framework, then you have to store your all code into this application folder, so now I show you main main folder of this framework and where you should store which information. In application, their first most important folder is config. In config folder you can see different PHP file, now I have show you which file is used for which purpose. Here first file is autoload.php, this file specifies which system should be loaded by default, this file helps us to by default load any code igniter packages or libraries or helper. Suppose you want to load database libraries by default when system load then you can do these things here. Then after other important file is config.php. Under this config.php file you can define the base URL of your system, you can set the index page of your system, you can set the which characters you want to allow in your URL, you can also set session variables here. Other most important file is database.php. This file is used for database connectivity of your system, if you want to connect your system with database then you have to specify the database connectivity information like host name, username, password and database name here. This file mainly used for database connectivity. In config folder other important file is roots.php, this file lets you remap or a requests to specific controller functions. If you want to set the default controller of your system, then you have to set from here. After config folder, now we have moved to controller folder. In this folder we have store PHP file in which we have to business logic and store into this folder, more about code igniter we will discuss in later video. In helper folder, suppose you want to use any outside class other than code igniter framework class, then you can store into this folder and you can use into this code igniter framework. Same way helper folder, in libraries folder you can also use any outside class other than framework class, you can store into this folder and you can use into this code igniter framework. In models folder you want can store model class in which you can write database query run code like insert update delete and select query code right into this model class and store into this models folder. And last folder is views. In this folder you can store HTML output file which send requests to controller and it gather information from model and send information back to this view file. This type of HTML file output file store into this folder. So this is the whole file structure of code igniter framework. In this video tutorial we have made a discussion on some basic introduction of code igniter framework. We have also discussed model view controller framework, how to run code igniter application in browser, and we have also discussed file structure of this code igniter framework, if you like this video, so please share this video with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.